It's kind of a weird angle here. Yep. Okay. I'm going to turn that up just a little bit. Come on. There we go. Nope. Okay. That little cheap tripod does not want to raise up for me. Come here. Nope. Nope. Not going to stay up. Sometimes you have to stay crouched down. This is very uncomfortable. Well, hope the uh, video and audio is all right. We'll make sure the old mustache department is doing all right. Yeah, it's good enough, you know. Oh, you already got one person in here. Cool. Birdfinger Garage. How you doing, man? Thank you. Oh, we got three people, five people. <laughs> Oh, man, I figured I would just go live for a bit. Um, howdy, Josh. Howdy from Kansas. You're from Wisconsin. That's pretty cool. Uh, I figured I would go live. Uh, I thought about filming this, but uh, I figured I would just go ahead and go live, you know, hang out with you guys for, you know, an hour or so in my day. Um, I can close the garage door if the wind gets a little crazy. Um Jeremy, yes, I'm doing much better now besides the hospital bills. Those are always annoying. Um, King Eric, welcome. Thank you for shop, shop, <laughs> shopping with us, for jumping in, man. Uh, can I get the... Uh, and John H., uh, well, today, uh, 20 people. Holy crap, just like that, 20 people just hop right in. Howdy, Brian Beeler. Oh, dude. Brian, uh, I want to say, man, uh, I haven't been able to keep up with all your... Uh, Oh, oh, I just blanked. Oh, my. Oh, your video series. Uh, round them up. Uh, if you guys uh, are looking for project cars, Brian Beeler here. He does a really good little deal. Like, you know, if you don't want to sit there and dig through all the ads and stuff on Marketplace or Craigslist, he actually does a dedicated show where he finds you all these good deals and he walks you through them. Um, great show. Absolutely love it. And, uh, now I'm already losing track of everybody in chat. <laughs> um, but yeah, I figured I would go live today. Um, I was going to film just a quick little video, but you know what? I was like, ah, screw it. Let's uh, just go live, you know, and we'll open this package live and we'll just kind of walk around and do some updates and stuff. Um, I haven't done a live in probably over a year, you know, on my channel. I, I hang out in my buddy's lives like uh, Ruben at Muscle City Madness. I'm always in his lives. My buddy Brian... At Dust Devil Garage, I'm always popping into their live deals, and uh, I just like hanging out with them. You know, it's a nice little break from everything. Just hang out, bunch of car guys. Uh, let's see. No problem, man. Uh, I love the Roundem Up show. And King Eric, I saw your comment about tornado. No, we did not get tornadoes at all. Thank God. But I do feel bad for all the families that did get hit by the tornadoes. Um, that was mostly the St. Louis area and East. Um, my buddy Brian at Dust Devil Garage, he was, <laughs> he was basically able to tickle the tornado almost. Um, pretty thankful we didn't get any of it, but I do, my condolences go out to the people who did get hit by it. Oh yeah, John H. Yeah, dad is definitely a cool dude and we got, uh, more stuff coming on the van. We got to film a video on it because we've got some really sweet freaking news about the engine. Um, so it'll be pretty cool. Oh, dude, it got your tent. Oh, dude, your garage. Dang it. That sucks. I'm sorry, man. Let's see here. I just want to make sure I didn't miss anybody. 60 degrees in PA? Holy crap. I don't know how warm it is. Dad might be 60 here today in Kansas. It's uh, not too bad. Mark, uh, happy holidays. Merry Christmas to you and your family and all that stuff. Let's see here. Well, I appreciate that, Jeremy about you know popping in hello from holland benjamin welcome welcome that is so cool 440 in the van not yet 18 inches of snow big red holy crap already i know this is some crazy weather it's freaking december almost mid-december and i'm out here in my regular work shirt i don't even need the work shirt actually it's pretty nice out today <clears throat> driving across i-64 as the tornado was oh my lord that's too close well, thank you, Gerald. Gerald Scott at that. Thank you for the compliment on the channel, man. I definitely appreciate that. Mohawk21, Jit, how's it? How's it? <laughs>
<laughs> Weather is coming. Black squirrels here in Fairfax, Virginia. Man. Well, everything's going pretty good here. We got 26 of the coolest dudes in the universe in this live. And we're only five minutes in. You know what? Let's go ahead. So, uh, Mr. John Wilburn at the YouTube channel, John Wilburn, he sent me a package. And it says, treasure enclosed. And, yes, all the wording is, writing is going to be backwards because we're on the front-facing camera on my phone. But uh, he sent me this mystery package. I, I had no idea he was going to send me something. And I was going to unbox this in a video and i was like you know what? let's just go live let's hang out with everybody because a bunch of cool dudes um so of course we got our trusty dusty safety razor and by safety i mean i am the safety which means there is no safety so yeah <laughs> believe it or not i have cut myself more with safety knives than i have with just the blades so that's why i only use the blades but you know you do you be smart use an actual you know actual safety knife um, I know I missed a couple comments here. Let's see. Hey, Jed, why is your show... Oh, 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 oh. Why is your show called Slot Speed Shop? And I hope I spelled that right on the live. Guys, on the live, is it Scott Speed Shop or did I misspell it? I really hope I got that right. I really hope that isn't wrong. Let's see. Oh, cool. Thank you, Mohawk. Yeah, definitely bring the carburetor on. The Netherlands signing in. Wow, that is so cool. People from Holland and Netherlands and all over the U.S., that is so freaking cool. You guys, freaking best. The bomb. <laughs> so, now we have 35 of the coolest people in the world in here. Thank you, John, for that. I wanted to make sure I got that right. Oh, <laughs> Well, I'll just go ahead and tell you, the reason why it's called Scott Speed Shop is, well, because my last name is Scott, and uh, that is the nickname that was given to our garage that I have turned into a home business, basically. You know, like the shirt says, Scott Speed Shop, the logos, um, that's just what we call our garage. We've always called it that. Um, I sell a lot of parts. Thank you, everybody, for verifying. <laughs> I got kind of nervous there because I used the autocorrect thing to make sure. And there is no apostrophe in Scott's because it is not owned by scott it is scott's as in all scott's let's see oh from the other side of kansas so you're out in western kansas 305 elk i have been to western kansas many a time so now that we have 39 of the coolest dudes and or and, and dudettes uh we should probably open this package so like i said John Wilburn, he's on YouTube. If you haven't ever checked out his videos, please go check him out. Um, he sent me this box. It keeps rattling around. I'm afraid I'm going to break something if I keep handling it. Uh, he actually just did a video on a Roadrunner he calls the Roach Runner. So if you're into patina, original, really cool cars, definitely go check him out. And I also, just, just for the record, there's 41 of you in here right now. Oh, and before I say that... Uh, if you guys like tech videos, a lot of stuff to do with transmissions and stuff, John, he is a wealth of knowledge. Great dude. Seriously, check him out. But uh, this Saturday, I don't know when I'll be popping in or <clears throat> how long I'll be in there, but we're going to be doing kind of a, a, a I don't want to call it a charity stream, but we'll call it that. Um, so like every YouTube group, they have a click. You know, there's a group of people you hang out with, like Dylan McCool has uh, his little group. And everybody's got like their own little group on YouTube they hang around with. Well, I am very honored to have the group of cool dudes I hang around with. Not just you guys, but you know, like my buddy Ruben at Muzzle City Madness, Brian at Dust Devil Garage, and Tall John at Tall John's Fun Shop. I think that's, I think I got that right. Um, or Fun Garage. Um, there's Jay at Rabid Transit. There's Mark at Bigfoots and Mopars. My buddy Marty at Useful Entertainment. Uh, Chris at Testa Speed Shop. Oh, I know I'm going to miss people. There are so many cool people on YouTube now. And it's cool just to hang out with them, you know. Um, but we do lives routinely. And uh, we are actually working on trying to get everybody up to at least 1,000 subscribers. Just give them a little boost, you know. Especially that guy's like uh, Tall John. We just got him up to 1,000. It was, uh, I think, Brian or Ruben. They spearheaded the whole thing. 
he's so close and we got him to a thousand on one stream and uh, that's the purpose of the stream on saturday this saturday is uh we're going to be trying to get ruben up to a thousand because he's got like 800 and some odd subscribers and awesome dude he's got really good uh junkyard crawling videos he's got a really sweet road runner um all patinaed and yes 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 there's another guy in the chat brian beeler uh i've already given you a shout out but there's another dude in here who uh really really does phenomenal videos like kind of the whole wide guys thing is kind of based off his deal where you look at all the car ads but seriously, if like you're looking for a project car and you don't want to dick with, you know, all the hassle of trying to find stuff, he's got some phenomenal videos called Round Em Up. Look up Brian Beeler. He is also super close to a thousand. Um, you know, once you hit a thousand on YouTube, it's kind of just the uh, the starting point. You know, it, it gives you a good place to move on from. Plus, thousand subscribers. I think it's forty thousand watch hours. You get monetized. <clears throat> I mean, you don't make a lot of money off YouTube. Not even I do. It's it's really when it comes down to it, even the money I make off YouTube doesn't pay for my time making the video, let alone my time editing the videos and posting them. But it's a passion project, you know. Uh, it's more of an honor to be able to do this stuff and have these kind, have you kinds of cool people show up in the live. You guys, really freaking cool. And yeah, yeah, King Eric uh, Grant for sure. But Grant's already passed a thousand. You know, this is just kind of boosting up other people who. You know, if you'd really use it. Let's see. That light's kind of annoying back there. Middle fixing my 82 D150 transmission. Let's see. Hang on. Hang on. Wow, Mopar, man. That's freaking wild to be doing that. <laughs> you mentioned that you got your cams from Hughes Performance. Do they have a website and can you give a link to it? I can't post a link to it because I'm on the phone. But yeah, HughesEngines.com. Um, Dave Hughes is the owner. Super cool dude. Um, I get all my stuff from Hughes. I don't think I have a decal of theirs handy. It's on my toolbox. But, uh, yeah, it's Hughes Engines. And uh, they use Johnson lifters, which are made in the USA. And those are the same lifters I'm putting in my 340, the solid roller lifters. Um, Hughes, that's all I use because they are uh, they're all Mopar people. You know, there's really no other cam company or any other deal that is like strictly 100% Mopar besides like Mancini but I mean like you can call Hughes and you can spec out an entire engine build and uh, not sponsored uh, just I love them they, they do excellent work they've picked out the cam and just about every engine I got and before I go and open this package there was a comment about Anna's truck it is sitting right there and it's doing just fine so I am going to open this package from John Wilburn and hopefully nothing flies out at me and if something does you guys are here to see it and you can either laugh or you can have pity on me let's uh come on come on here this cheap $15 phone tripod yeah we're going full crotch cam today sorry all right what do we got here John Okay, that, I'm not sure how to feel about, I don't know if that's really tiny rat poop or if that's rust. That's kind of scaring me a little bit. Oh, I've had my full of rat poopy. Let's see. Scott Speech up commented on your video. <laughs> he wrote me a, took a screenshot of my comment from his video on the Roach Runner. That was a cool archaeological find. Always cool digging through a fresh purchase and seeing what kind of treasures you find. Like them shoes and that colony of ants. Oh, no. Oh, no. I know. Oh. Oh. John, thank you, but why? Oh, I didn't really want the shoes. Oh, I'm getting gloves. I'm getting gloves. Pause that. I had a sneaking suspicion that I might wind up with these. Oh, boy. I, at least hopefully they're my size, you know. 
Uh, doing pretty good, guys. Uh, obviously, I'm out here. I'm upright. However, I don't know how good I'm going to be after I touch these shoes. Oh. Oh, John, you didn't have to, man. You really didn't have to. <laughs> oh, that is gross. Uh, if you guys don't know, seriously, go check out his video on the Roach Runner, John Wilburn, on YouTube. You'll know what I mean. And you know what? If you go do it, how about this? If you don't do it, I'm going to give you these shoes. I will find one of your guys' address, and you will get these shoes. Uh, this is disgusting. They don't even have a size on them, so I don't even know if they're my size. Let's just see. No, whoever owned these shoes was a tiny person. Was a very tiny person. I don't know if you could see that, but those shoes are about three inches too small for my feet. <laughs> so we're just going to take these things, and we're just going to... Oh, that was grody. Oh, man. Oh, I'm scared. I am seriously scared. I just cleaned the garage. Okay, so I've got the uh, one of the plastic containers with... Uh, looks like a, a shim. And uh, some factory hardware. I do appreciate that. This is good stuff here. You know, captive washer on a bolt. Uh, those will actually keep... Oh, no, there's more in here. Oh, look at that. we got a couple more little guys. Thank you, John. Thank you. You could have maybe cleaned the, the container a little bit, but, you know, it's patina. So, we'll, we'll rock with that. We have a letter. And a bunch of, uh... I don't even want to know. After cleaning that van out, I really, really didn't need any more dookie in my life. But, you know, it's the gift that keeps on giving. We'll just set that down way away from me. And we'll see what's in here. So, cake has been crossed out and it says, do I smell treasure? Sure enough, it's them shoes and that colony of ants, LOL. I'm looking forward to seeing you shoehorn those into the big curb stomper feet for whatever it is you do with them. John, that's a custom done, uh, that's custom done. I'm going to hang that up in my uh, office. Thank you, John. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be uh, trying to shoehorn those shoes onto my feet. I don't. I think that would just be bad. In fact, I think I'm going to give them to Anna because she has tiny feet. So I'm going to just set this letter down and we'll get back to hanging out. Thank you again, John Wilburn, if you ever see this little live. Uh, 63 people just witnessed me almost vomit. That's nifty. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on, man. I tell you what, never buy like a $12 little flexible tripod for your phone. Especially when you've got a heavy phone like I do. Because this, this is just unbearable. I wonder if I can prop it up on its own little feet. What's on the bottom of the box? Ants? I think the ants did. I don't think the ants survived the uh, trip. And I kind of hope they didn't. Craig, how you doing, man? Oh, so that's now too tall. I am just not a tech guy. And this is why I just like hanging out in other people's lives. Because uh, this is this is kind of painful. I kind of like just hanging around the campfire, BSing. Look at that. Look at that. Now you can only see my giant head, though. <laughs> Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Too much. Too much. You know what? I have an idea. We're going to walk over here. We're going to grab the all-important iced tea, which you can't see. We have some boxes here. We need to get... Oh. There we go. Get my stool. There we go. There we go. Now we're going to hang out for a bit. Sorry, guys. This is going to be a roller coaster. I bet you those shoes actually contain the cure for COVID, actually, with just how gnarly they are. 
I would guarantee it. Well, I wouldn't say I'm good with tech stuff. My editing is extremely... Ow! Camera, you have got the wrong ideas. As far as my editing goes, it's extremely uh, simplistic editing. You know, I don't have a fancy editor, and I don't do a bunch of crazy stuff on my videos, so... We'll just uh, scoot back a bit. Let's read some comments. So, actually, so I'm filming on the, uh, we're live on the uh, uh, front camera, so everything is reversed. So, the uh, Jigs logo is actually on my left side of my head. Um, so, whenever I, I, whenever I film with this phone and I'm uh, using the front camera, everything's reversed. Dust Devil, I love you too. I don't know if that's Sherry or if that's Brian. Uh, Zero Fox Given. I love your name. Uh, and yes, I do know you've been uh, watching the videos. I, that's one of those names you don't forget. Uh, the Whiplash Cam, excellent cam. <coughs> um, uh, that is the cam that's in the satellite and Dad's Hemi and his charger. And those are both uh, 10 to 1 engines or 10 and a half to 1. So we went against the grain. Hughes specifically says do not put it in a higher compression engine. We did it anyways, and it works phenomenal. Uh, it's an excellent camshaft. Obviously, there are better cams like for your suited engine combo, but if you want a cam that works good and sounds awesome, that's the cam for you. Obviously, I don't think I'd put one with a 12 to 1 engine. That would be bad. And obviously, if you're building like a real high-performance engine, get a cam spec'd out, which uh, Dave Hughes at Hughes, he's the owner, he will spec out a cam for your engine. You know, they need compression ratio, all this other stuff, but he'll spec you out an engine or a cam. Let's see. Is Zero from our neck of the woods? I don't know. I don't know. That'd be kind of neat. Let's see. It'll be a mile 318 at most. Yeah, it'd be perfect then. Yeah, Mohawk, 60 people. Oh, it just dropped down to 56. I must have said something wrong. <laughs> oh, 56 of the coolest people right now, according to my count. <clears throat> but uh, the Duster, Captain Dew. I, Captain Dew. I like your. <laughs> I, like, I like these names you guys come up with. I, I, I do like them. Uh, the Duster is doing great. Um, I basically daily drive it when I don't want to drive my Magnum everywhere. Um it's a great car, and it's why I don't want to get rid of it, and that's why we're kind of putting all this stupid money into the 340. And speaking of money, so a buddy of mine named Rodney, he uh, he's helped me spec out cams in the past for my small blocks. So he's like the guy who helped me get the cam picked out for the yard dart, the second cam. And uh, I called him. Oh, hang on. Have to check back. Let's see. Hopefully we'll be able to watch later. Unfortunately, I'm heading towards father in law funeral. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that Grand Prix. Uh, my condolences, man. Um, uh, you just focus on that, obviously. Uh, anything involving a funeral, it's more important than this kind of stuff. Uh, my condolences to you and everybody else uh, on that matter. Um, yeah, that, that, that is a shame. Uh, just take a moment here. I don't want to be insensitive, but uh, um, I don't know where to really go with that. That's pretty sad. But, uh, uh, anyways, the uh, 340, um, we got to building it with, you know, a solid roller cam setup, and we got all that spec'd out. And for anybody who is interested in cam specs, we're, uh, it's a 110 lobe separation angle, 255 degrees of duration at 50 on intake and exhaust, uh, 573. Three valve lift, I think, if I remember right, and uh, it's going to be a pretty mild solid roller for the W2 heads. But uh, we got all that spec'd out. We got the TRW piston from Just Mopar Joe, another guy I kind of forgot about that needs a shout out. And uh, so I, I bought a set of 340 rods from a viewer, and uh, here's one of them. Uh, this isn't one of the great ones. He sent me eight ones, eight out of an engine that are beautiful, and then he sent me three others. I don't know. <laughs> I'll use them for art. But he sent me three extras, and this is one of them. Uh, 
And these are pretty beefy rods. The factory 340 rods, I really don't have anything bad to say about them, but the RPM I plan on winging this engine to, everybody told me this is a bad idea. So they talked me into buying uh, these uh, from SCAT. And as you can see, uh, Mopar man, you uh, have a good day and focus on your truck. Get that thing going. Thank you for stopping in. But uh, what state did that duster made in? I think my 70 duster was built in California. I don't remember where the duster I got was made. I don't remember. I'd have to double check the uh, fender tag and everything. No, I have, uh, Herbie, I've never done anything on a modern Hemi. Love your dad's van, Gideon. Looking for one myself. Street vans are getting big in my area. Living PA. Yeah, PA, there's a lot, lot of uh, street vans. Uh, there's Facebook groups like Vanners Inc., uh, Vanners Inc. Classified. There's a whole bunch of really cool van groups that will probably help you find one. Um, but uh, to get back on track here, uh, as you can see, the writing is backwards. That's because we're on the front camera. And that way I can see what you guys are saying. So everybody talked me into buying aftermarket rods. And I don't know how everybody feels about aftermarket rods versus original. But uh, here is... No, I haven't even opened these yet. I don't really want to. But they're the SCAT 6123. They are just the uh, I-beam rod. And uh, they got ARP uh, 8740 rod bolts, I believe. And uh, so, I mean, the 340 rod is actually much thicker, but the webbing on it is nowhere near as thick or as deep. So I'm kind of hoping uh, this was a good move. Everybody said these rods would be perfect for the 340. They'll allow us to wing it to 7,500 RPM or wherever we want to go. I hope I didn't waste uh, that kind of money. Jed, what up with the duster? I just did a V8. Can't remember my duster. Uh, well, wait, who was that? Okay. Um, the duster, that's actually what we're talking about, is the engine for it. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the duster. It just it works flawlessly, but, you know, it's a real 340 car. I've got a 340, and I've got W2 heads. I've got good pistons. I just got the rods in the mail, and hopefully my cam and spring show up this week so I can go to the machine shop, drop it all off, and over the uh, winter, it can all the machine work can get done, and I can bring it back in the summer next year. But yeah, it's all floating stuff. That's all I will run. <clears throat> My TRW pistons are for a floating pin setup, and that's I don't believe in running a press fit when you're building performance. Uh, always better just go free floating, you know, that kind of deal. Um, I know I am so behind on comments. It's, it's just ridiculous. Is your dad going to put a high-performance engine in the van? Probably not. I kind of just, if we use the 440, I kind of just want to drop it in as it is. Put a carburetor on it, maybe an intake and some headers, but it's such a good running 440, I don't really want to mess with it. Especially with the state of the cam aftermarket, you know. And, you know, we'll have to change a converter and all that stuff. If we just leave that engine alone, I know as boring as it is, and it goes against every grain of my soul, I kind of just want to leave the 440 alone. But that's up to Dad. Are you going to airbrush a wizard riding a dragon on the van? Only if the wizard's in a freaking bikini, dude. And the dragon's got to be in a Speedo, of course. And I do agree with you, Captain Do. CB radios are freaking awesome. I've got four or five I've been collecting. I always put, meant to put them in uh, one of my cars, but I never did. Yeah, thank you, Mark S. Yeah. Put Crager, craters on it. You mean craters? Uh, so we're still trying to figure out what wheels and tires we're going to do. Uh, we got to get the flares so that way we know. Well, we just got to get the new flares so we know how wide we can go. Uh, probably going to be 15 10s in the back, 15 8s in the front. Uh, I like the slots. I've got some Kragers. Um, keystones aren't out of the equation, and neither are turbines. Uh, so it's going to be whatever comes up first. Yeah, I know that, that, that spell check is always awful. Let's see. 
Side pipes on the van, yes. The van is definitely getting side pipes. I've got to measure the space in between the wheels so we know which side pipes we can get. Uh, Dad Roy wants the Corvette style side pipes that have that fake header look. And uh, fun fact, those uh, fake header look side pipe pieces, those are actually what Jezebel's first set of Zimmies were made out of. We have another pair hanging up oh, right above you, actually. Um, let's see. Brian Beaver, thank you for popping in. I probably missed you, but uh, yeah, thank you for jumping in, man. I'm going to try and uh, what's playing on the interior water beds? <laughs> Spinning water beds. Well, water bed. Uh, I'm not sleeping in the van with my dad. That'd be weird. Uh, dudes don't do that. I had a van like that when I was a kid, wood paneling inside, took it permanent. Uh, Freaking John Wilburn box fell. That's gross. That's what I know. <laughs> like the indie slotted mags in the van, I got a, I got a four, I got a set of four total five lug four. Let's see pattern. I wanted to sell them, by the way. Let's see. Hey, I got to read that and close. Set of four total five lug four by eight, fourteen by eight. Yeah, that'd be the downside, Captain. Dude, is are fourteens, and we've already got fifteens. <clears throat> Tall John, welcome in, man. Uh, one of those guys you guys need to go check out tall john's fun shop i got your i got your youtube channel right um the uh, van's got an eight and a quarter and before anybody gets weird on that about putting a big block behind it especially 440 i put jezebel's original eight and a quarter through absolute hell and back with jezebel's old 440 with the tunnel ram and everything before we built the stroker um that eight and a quarter will be fine We'll get a sure grip for it, put probably 355s in or 323s. We won't have a problem. Thank you, Jason, for that uh, compliment. I, I wouldn't call my videos amazing. It's just, you know, just filming and editing and throwing it on, you know, sharing everything we do with you guys. That's what we're all about. Uh, need a fish tank? Fish tank bed. Oh, that would be so freaking cool. Maybe bigger tires to make it the right size on small wheels. Not sure. Hmm. Hmm. I would go show you the van, but, uh, yeah, we definitely need like a footprint gas pedal. That is for sure. Let's see. We could probably go look at the van. Hmm. I don't know if I can flip my camera on live though. That'd be a little weird. An eight track blast and some Sabbath would seal. Well, so, <clears throat> Maybe not so much Sabbath. Dad and I are Ted Nugent people. So, Ted Nugent for sure. But yes, 8-track. Well, thank you, Craig. I definitely appreciate that, man. Louvers, visor, and spoiler. Yes, yes, and yes. We are talking with the guy at customvan.com. We're going to buy the spoilers and the visor for sure, and we're going to get the front air dam. I don't think he sells the uh, louvers for the back windows. Oh, you're good, Mohawk. Uh, phones suck anyway, so don't worry about it, man. You're good. Rabbit Transit Garage, Jay. Yep. The vans are freaking cool, man. Uh, another guy. If you guys... See, that's the problem is there's so many cool dudes I hang out with. You know, it's kind of like, hey, you got to go check out these 20 freaking awesome dudes. They all got great videos, great content. So... Um, but seriously, Jay of Rabbit Transit, another great guy to go check out if you're looking for good videos to watch, especially when I'm not uploading or any of the other cool people in YouTube ain't uploading. Wait, did I just call myself cool? No, 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 no. I'm not cool. I'm just a dude. Uh, let's see. Great White Buffalo. Yes, yes. Jed, do you like damn Yankees? <laughs> I ain't even going there. I ain't even going there. That is. That ain't right. Oh, 67 people. Holy crap. What? Oh, there. Okay, now we're down to 66. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense now. Well, Wayne, good for you. Most of the people I have mentioned in this deal are all Mopar people. Uh, I'm not going to say I'm a Mopar only deal but uh there's a lot of cool guys on there 
Dad had a 76D 200 Tradesman, medium size. Dude, that sounds so freaking cool. Mohawk, I couldn't agree more on Stranglehold. I'm more of a Stormtrooping or Fred Bear kind of guy. Uh, Dad used to street race the Stormtrooping all the time. Yeah, John, uh, Dad and I went to go see uh, Ted Nugent. Well, Dad, I, Mom, and I think my niece went to go see Ted Nugent live a couple years ago, and we got videos on the channel from his deal. And that dude puts on a heck of a show. Next ride is 68 GTS Dart Hemi Hood. Dude, that'd be cool. That'd be freaking cool. Let's uh, we'll go this. <coughs> Let's see here. So there's the old van. I hope the video quality is good for you guys. Uh, we've got her all cleaned out still. We're kind of letting it air out because it just, it reeks in here. I wonder if this door will shut now. Yes, it will. Wang Dang Sweet Poon Tang. Yes, that is actually probably my favorite Ted Nugent song. I love hearing that song when he's in his live performance. So, uh, we are... Oh, God, I got a whiff of that. Holy crap. Oh, my God, I know exactly what's perfect here. John, if you ever catch this, I might clip this and send it to you. I'm not touching those. I know better. I know better. Let's just see here. Let's double up this rag. I know exactly where these things belong. These shoes from John's Roach Runner belong perfectly in the dookie mobile there we go look at that those are freaking disgusting i don't have tongs i wish i did i kind of don't like touching these things i don't know maybe i'll just put them on the window here we go yeah yeah look at that yeah dad's gonna wonder where the heck those came from and he's gonna touch them and then he's gonna probably get some kind of every single venereal disease known to man <coughs> so uh this engine's actually in it seems to be in pretty decent shape they didn't change the oil a whole heck of a lot as you can see i don't know if you guys can actually see that or not <coughs> but we're gonna hopefully get this thing running <coughs> kevin dude that is not a, a 318 that is a 360. Um, the balancer gives it away. It's got the big, thicker balancer. And this is kind of a pain with one hand. Let me just, come on. Come on. Oh, this is such a pain in the butt. There we go. So right here, we have the option codes. And right there, EC4. 360-1 engine high output heater battery 39 or 59 amp mirror 10 inch prismatic oil gauge wheels 15 by five and a half 1600 pound right rear spring paint dt 1592 um, eight cylinder 109 inch wheelbase van 10 by two and a half hydraulic right rear or rear brakes Let's see, rear axle, eight and three eighths. Huh, that's kind of a weird way to put eight and a quarter. Um, rear disc brake, or power disc brake, increased cooling, alternator 60 amp heavy duty cycle, red trim set AM only, front spring 1400 pound power steering. And uh, let's just see. Nope, I can't get a great shot of the balancer from here. Yeah, I was pretty shocked to find out it had a 360 in it. I really was. I figured it would have been a 318. Especially being a shorty van. I don't know if it is the same as a Hoosier Garage. Uh, this thing smells way worse than a locker room full of jock straps. Let me tell you that much. Uh, I don't really know what that smells like. I don't go around sniffing dudes' jock straps, but uh, it's pretty bad. I mean, uh, I have wiped these seats down. I've cleaned them with brake cleaner, 
carpet cleaner, everything. And the dookie will just not leave. There's a pile of duke right in that button. Let's see. I don't know how clean those intake grounders are, but we'll find out. I'm going to open this thing back up just that way it's got some airflow and hopefully maybe kill some of this stink. I'm going to have to get on Amazon and buy like 200 black ice air fresheners just because I need to overpower the stank. This thing has got the stank. Whew. There we go. We'll get some of that stank out. Um, as far as Jezebel, uh, I know the van is completely uh, taking over the chat. But uh, old Jezebel, we're hopefully going to get uh, her four speed done this week. And oh crap stick, the hood got left open on the little dozer. The quality might drop a little bit. Uh, I'll just go ahead and say it for anybody who's curious. Uh, uh, we did get the, do the dozer's engine freed up, as you can see. The pistons have all moved. Um, one thing people got to learn about me and how my brain operates. Because my brain is kind of weird. Uh, I've got to convince myself something is nearly impossible, and then I will overcome it. So we are rebuilding the engine for the little dozer so we can have fun with it. Look at them pretty clouds behind me. Dang. Let's see here. Oh, howdy BTP, welcome in. Humidifier and peroxide. Hmm, that wouldn't that probably work. Put a recliner in there. Oh man, that'd be awesome. Dip the whole fan in or van in hand sanitizer. I don't even know if that would do it. Yeah, we're having a pretty good day today. Tomorrow's supposed to be pretty good too. And then it's supposed to drop back down. Those shoes of John Wilburn fit perfectly on the van. That is hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. <laughs> oh. I went for a little uh, walk. Let's see if we can put our phone back in this little cheap crappy holder from Menards. Probably not. Hang on. You guys are going dark. Bam. There we go. Now we're back in our little holder. Did any ants make it? I know. I don't think any of the ants made the trip. Which I'm not going to complain about. I'm kind of happy about that. We don't need any more ants. It's because wheels. <laughs> I love that autocorrect. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, well, instead of uh, Jezebel's wheels, we put... See, I've got Jezebel's wheels, which are 15 by 10s in the back and 15 by 6 or 7s in the front. Um, I've got Jezebel's uh, drag wheels and tires. They're 15 by 10 center lines and 15 by 3.5 center lines. Or I've got a set of Kragers. They're 15 by 10s. And then I've also got the front runners, which are 15 by fours. I did not see John's video on the Pro Stock Duster. I need to see that. Let's see. Since someone mentioned, damn Yankees, got the music playing in the background now. <laughs> nice. Use your Bigfoot tripod next time. Yeah. Oh. Well, I, I kind of just like doing this. Uh, do I follow Mopar Joe? I actually know Mopar Joe. Uh, when I did the big Jonesboro barn find, where we had that supposed Landy Pro Stock car and the Superbird and the Max Wedge Ken Permenter car and the A12 Super B, uh, I lived in Paragold, Arkansas, or Jonesboro, Arkansas for like a week and a half, almost two weeks out of a camper, digging through all the hoard, kind of organizing, selling the stuff. And I met Jess Mopar Joe there. Of course, I knew him as Joe, you know, and... I got to know him there and come to find out, you know, years later, he's got a YouTube channel. So, yeah, uh, Joe's cool. I ain't got nothing against Joe. Probably need to call him if they need to find headers. I got to find W2A body headers because I don't want to pay the guy's price. But if I can't find headers, I'm going to buy TTIs, I guess. Oh, it's kind of atrocious. 
Oh, we're hitting the 44 minute mark. 45 minutes. It's amazing how time flies in these lives. It really is. Uh, we're just hanging out, you know, that kind of deal. I'll tell you what, I did have a blast with uh, Brian and his wife Sherry when they were here last weekend. Uh, we did a big live. Uh, we were going to do a whole live thing working on the van, and that kind of derailed. And we ended up just tearing the Pro Stock Hemi apart and putting it back together on his live. I think he was here for like three or four hours. Um, he drove out to give her Christmas cookies, which now I want cookies. And uh, <clears throat> we had a heck of a time just hanging out here in the garage. Um, I like that. Let's see, I, Wayne, uh, I do not follow Nick's garage anymore. Uh, I don't know. It just, it don't do nothing for me. It's too, it feels like too much of a production. And uh, everybody's different. Everybody has their own tastes and videos. When I watch a YouTube video, I don't want to watch a TV show. I don't want <coughs> overhead announcer. I don't want big budget stuff. I kind of like just watching the guy in his garage holding his camera in front of his face. And like Jonathan W. If you follow Jonathan W., that is like the quintessential YouTuber to me. A guy who doesn't have fancy editing software, he doesn't have a fancy camera, and yet he's got over 100,000 subscribers. It's just all about the content and the dude. Um, I have cookies. Yes, Mark, yes, you know exactly. And Craig, the lathe learning is going great. Uh, I don't really have anything to show you that I've made. Uh, they're all kind of in use. Um, but yeah, the lathe, great purchase. That's one thing, you know, my buddy Dave uh, talked me into, uh, uh, you know, never stop trying to expand your skill set. Uh, oh, um, Mr. Moss, I was sick. I was sick for like two weeks, and I just came out of it. Um, for the love of cars, I agree. Um, Cold War Motors, I... Tried to get into their stuff. The video is just a little too long. I don't know. It, I like their stuff, but I don't know. Well, I'll say Nick knows his stuff, but he doesn't know anything about early Hemis. I actually talked to him on the phone about that 241 Dodge he was building, and I was kind of ashamed that he... I mean, I guess it's one of those things. You know, not every Mopar guy knows a little bit about everything, but he literally knew nothing about the early Hemis. Um... And I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm not going to get into all that. You know, everybody likes their certain people, and I don't want to offend nobody and shit like that. <laughs> Chad, Weston Champlain, that's actually really funny. Uh, so I'll tell you guys this story. So uh, <clears throat> since you guys are so freaking cool, <clears throat> uh, I was on Facebook one night. And I saw a post. I got tagged in a post of Weston Champlain's. He was looking for a 68 to 70 charger. And I know where a couple are here in Kansas for sale. They're not cheap, but I know where they are. So I messaged him. I was like, hey, dude, if you want a 68 to 70 charger, I know where a couple are. Here's some pics. Here's some prices. And he thanked me. It was his brother who runs the Facebook page. And uh, uh, a week goes by, and then I see a post on his Facebook that he had bought a car. And I'm like, cool. He found a good deal. And... Uh, he uh, uh, ended up messaging me back, or his brother did, and was like, hey, do you know where we can get parts for this thing? And I was like, sure, yeah, uh, I, I got a crap load of parts here myself for chargers. And he lives, I'm just going to say he lives uh, south of me. You know, he's in Kansas, obviously. I'm not going to say where he lives because, you know, privacy stuff, just like I don't like people knowing where I'm exactly at because I don't mind people stopping by, but I appreciate if you're going to track me down, at least shoot me an email or something first. <laughs> so I know you're coming. Uh, but uh, I ended up actually spent like three or four days just gathering in parts. There was one night I was up till midnight driving around, gathering some of the parts I didn't have. We got them headers. I took pulleys off of Jezebel's engine, uh, got him a water pump that was supposed to be my brother's. Uh, but we Michael likes Weston, so we hooked him up with that. We got him some headers. Actually, he needed headers last minute. Like, his brother was on his way, basically, to get everything. He's like, hey, dude, uh, 
Holly's package with their headers got lost in the mail. Can you get me a set of big block B body headers? And I was like, hang on. I called a buddy. He had a set of headers for like 100 to 200 bucks. I was like, yeah, I'll go get them for you. And drove out to his place, grabbed the headers, came back. His brother came and got everything. But we ended up hooking him up with a whole bunch of stuff. And I'll say this. Uh, that Weston Champlin, he is a great guy. And I told him, you know, uh, I don't, I'm not doing this because I expect a shout out, which I probably should have been like, hey, shout me out, man. But uh, he was super cool. Uh, I've got his phone number. I text him every once in a while and he'll text me. Uh, and he's a really nice guy. I ain't got nothing against him. Uh, he obviously set up to YouTube as a business. And, you know, if you're going to do YouTube and make money, set it out to do that. But, uh, you know, everybody's different on YouTube. Anything Michael has can be give it away. Well, I got Michael actually a nicer water pump housing. <clears throat> the 440 source <clears throat> casting was kind of ugly. And I didn't want Michael to have an ugly water pump housing on his engine. Let's see. Sparkulators. Yeah, I don't know. I... I have a hard time staying uh, into Vice Grip Garage. Uh, I don't know what it is. Like, I really liked his video where he did the school bus and he gave all his gifts away, I think, last Christmas. But I don't know. I get tired of the will it runs and the rescued and abandoned and blah, blah, blah. I mean, because half that stuff, I don't think it's really what it really is. Um, so, I don't know. So it's kind of a spoof thing nowadays. We all just kind of joke about it. Like Brian, Ruben, and I were all on a live last night bullshitting. It's like, we're going to do a video on the van, and it'll be like, will it run abandoned, found, and barn find, field find? And it'll just be like every single tag you see on YouTube today. <laughs> will, will this van that's been sitting for 33 years, will it run that was found in a field slash barn that fell down? And it was rescued from an abandoned lot and blah, blah, blah. And you know, just all that stuff. Uh, has Trick Flow made their heads available yet? I think <coughs> with uh, Trick Flow, you basically just got to get on the waiting list like anything else. Uh, there's You basically just got to get on the waiting list. Let's see. Do the Shmi pose too? I don't know what that is. Will it run 500 miles? Yeah, and that was part of our joke was, will it make it? And we'll have like small words to the grocery store a mile away. <laughs> no, Penistar, the van is not getting a four speed. It's just going to get an automatic. Thank you, Jim. I am glad I'm feeling better too. Uh, don't know what it was. Uh, we believe that the medications the doctors put me on caused an imbalance. So they prescribed me other medication and that caused an even worse imbalance in my stomach. And uh, I'm just glad to be upright and not dealing with the hospital anymore. And that's the same hospital that kind of misdiagnosed my cancer. So I'm happy to be away from them. Oh, Jed, you should do a video like that. Will it run? <laughs> I think we might do it just to spoof like all of YouTube. Because that seems like that's all there is nowadays on YouTube is will it runs and stuff like that. <laughs> Shmi, English dude who does all the supercars and gets torched over his posing with the cars. Huh, I'll have to look that up. Mine will be, I finally have time to work on my junk. <laughs> I know exactly how you feel. Battery calling you out, Jed? No, that was an email. Uh... I don't know what that email is. Uh, so, I mean, I, I can't talk about my other hobbies on here just because uh, YouTube is very anti, you know, these things. What you put on Dylan McCool? Uh, so, I've actually talked to Dylan uh, a couple of times on Facebook. Uh, he's a pretty cool kid. Uh, I say kid. He's younger than me. Uh, he really does well for himself. I mean... Do I like the power washing videos? God, no. They're awful. I, I fall asleep in power washing videos, and I actually, I will go ahead and apologize, take my hat off. The next van video is a power washing video. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. 
I expect at least 100 or 200 people to unsubscribe from me for the video we are we filmed on the van. But it is kind of neat to see how good it cleaned up uh, inside and out. Which you guys got a sneak peek at how good it looks inside after it's been cleaned. Uh, but I do like uh, Dylan. Um, some of his stuff is a little weird. Like he deadpans into the camera. He just kind of stares into your soul. And he's just like... You know, that whole look. <laughs> but uh, I do like... Uh, I do like Dylan, and uh, someone said UTG. Uh, I have nothing against Uncle Tony. Uh, actually, I, I knew Tony before he started YouTube, and I was think I was probably subscriber number 25 of his or something like that. Uh, I bought some parts from him many years ago from him and Kathy. Uh, and, I mean, everybody's different. Everybody's got their opinions on things. Like, do I agree with flipping the pistons? No. I mean, if I got my engine completely apart, I'm going to put good pistons in it. But, you know, if it's for a budget thing, cool. Uh, I ain't got nothing against Tony or anything he does. I think it's really cool what he's doing right now with those younger guys helping him build the uh, junkyard jet. Um, I got a hold of those dudes. And I was like, hey, if you need anything for your build, you let me know. I can't give you anything, but I'll cut you a deal on the stuff at my cost. And... Uh, but I do like Tony's stuff. I think it's a it's a nice fresh breath of air as far as YouTube goes. Someone who just does the talking tech and he shows you things and he's got the look. You know, if I tried to do what Uncle Tony did, no one would believe me. Nobody would watch it because I'm a young guy. Tony is like the and I I know some people are going to disagree with me, but Tony literally looks like a Mopar guy. Long greasy hair and loud he's got the hands you can tell the man's worked his whole life with his hands and uh he's a smart dude i got nothing against uncle tony and in fact when i was going through cancer tony and kathy they sent me a big care package they sent me uh shirts and some hats and uh stickers and stuff and that means a lot and uh i've talked to tony on the phone several times he's one of the guys i got his phone number um he's just i don't know i like tony i ain't got nothing against him and as far as like any drama and stuff that happens, I I try to stay away from drama because I don't like drama. Uh, I don't like animosity. I just like to be hanging out and stuff like that. So now we're done with that. Uh, what else do we What else do we miss? If someone would help me put the, on the '68 Dart build, I know your pain, man. The Boss Garage haven't watched a lot of their stuff. Uh, I've watched a I've watched a couple videos. Um, I'm just not big into diesels, and that's about all the videos I've ever seen of his. Let's see here, Waylon Ryer. Um, I have always meant to get into his videos, but I never have. I'm never really taking the time to sit down and get into them. And yeah, Alvin, you are correct. Yeah, everybody's got their opinions, and. Sometimes the worst thing you can do is ask someone their opinion because if they have the same opinion in you as you, it's freaking awesome. <coughs> Crash truck. But if they don't, oh God, it's over. It, it's freaking miserable if you don't have the same opinion. I try to keep my opinions to myself, but I'm very opinionated. Jet, it's time. Castle, Maine, Rod Shop, Matt's Off-Road Recovery. I've heard of Matt's Off-Road Recovery. I guess I need to probably check that out. <coughs> Let's see, which state would you say is the best to pull a nice drive Mopar out of? Arizona, California, anything like that? South the coast? Uh, you definitely don't want a car from freaking Mississippi, probably. Or Florida. Definitely stay away from Florida. Those cars actually rot from the top down. Uh, Chad, thank you. Yeah, I, I, I am a very blunt person. I have very honest opinions you know i don't really keep a lot down i just i speak my mind and uh, i don't know good thing bad thing i guess nathan how you doing man mohawk i will definitely give him a shot if i get some time that's the biggest thing is trying to have time like i kind of set out to do this live unbox john wilburn's package and i said i'm gonna just live for like an hour so i can get back at it but here we are already almost an hour 59 minutes 38 seconds I don't really want to go because I'm having fun. Let's see. Captain Dew, you have a... Let's see. I'm heading. Y'all have a big 10-4. I'm 10-10 on the side. You have a good day, Captain Dew. Let's see. 
I think it's something that deals with being from Kansas. I'm the same way. Might be. I don't know. Toilet time works too. Well, when I'm on the when I'm on the old pooper, I'm typically looking for parts. Am I on any of the uh, forums? I'm in for A bodies only, and I think for B bodies only. But I don't really get on for B bodies. Um, I don't like internet forums. It's just like Facebook. It's uh, everybody's got an opinion. And if you get on there, it's like even all the Facebook groups. You get on there and you ask a guy, you ask him like a question like. What color is or what header to be best for my engine? And you'll get 10,000 answers and none of them will be an answer that you need. There will all be 10,000 opinions and no correct answer. So whenever I get on those deals, I'm like, hey, dude, message me. And uh, that kind of deal. Let's see. Yeah, Wayne, I, I use fray bodies only to find a lot of parts. I found a lot of parts for the yard dart on fray bodies. Come on. We got to move the chair. There we go. We got to block that light. Well, time to go poop. Catch you later. <laughs> you take care, man. Don't fall in. Seriously, don't fall in. <laughs> My dream car? Huh. That's a hard one. It could be either a 1962 F85 four-speed car or 66 Tornado again, uh, 67, 8, 9, no, 67 or 8 Fastback Barracuda Formula S 344 speed. You know, something like that. Uncle Rico's van. <laughs> Someone got that. Oh, that's great. Mohawk, I don't know why your comic got retracted. I'm just about to read that. Let's see. The Dodge Red Ram engine you and your dad built was a work of art. Thank you. Uh, Charles, so that engine actually got sold. I had a guy who was building a rat rod, and he wanted to buy a tunnel ram for 440 So, uh, Wayne, I'll get to your comment here in a second. Uh, he came to buy a 440 tunnel ram from me, <clears throat> and uh, he uh, got here. He loved the tunnel ram, carburetors, everything I had set up for him. And then he saw the baby hit me in the background. He's like, how much is that? And I'm like, it's not for sale, dude. He's like, how much is it? He was really persistent, and he ended up dealing me out of it. And then he was like, what about the 3-2 setup I see over there for that? And I'm like, yeah, I just never put it on or rebuilt it. And he goes... I'll pay you to put it on and tune it and get everything ready for me. So I ended up doing that and uh, putting it on there. And I gave him very specific starting instructions. And I don't think he listened to my starting instructions. And I'm pretty sure he blew the engine up. I don't know. I don't know whatever became of it after that. Um, <sighs> kind of sad. Let's see. Let's see here. So 600 horse, 440. <clears throat> there's really no right answer. There's a lot of ways to do that. There's a lot of wrong ways to do it, too. Um, it depends on if you want high RPM power, peak power, if you want low RPM. Um, your budget plays a big part of that. Uh, do you want iron head or do you want aluminum heads? Are you wanting to leave it a 440 or do you want to stroke it? Uh, how big of a cam? What kind of cars are going in? There's a lot of things that go into picking out all that stuff but probably the easiest cheapest thing you can do is get a stroker kit go to Hughes engines or Mancini or God forbid 440 source and just buy a stroker kit turn it into a 505 or something like that and that'll be like the easiest part the less strain on everything and uh, yeah let's see well thank you Nathan I definitely appreciate that man Mr. Norm 68 Dart GSS, that is, would be a good pick. Thinking of a new project in spring. Had me thinking about possibly doing a van. Dude, get a van. Vans are freaking cool. I've always wanted a van. And when Dad was able to buy this thing, I was like, yes. <laughs> I've always loved vans, but I never figured we'd find one, especially that thing. I can't believe that thing actually existed. All this time of me kind of blowing it off, I figure there's no way it really existed. wind's picking up. I'm losing daylight. Losing daylight. 
Let's see. Let's uh, call a roundup here. I'm going to stay live for at least another minute. So if you got something, hit me now. Because at an hour and the six minute mark, I got to hop off here. Sun's starting to go down, getting a little chilly. I got things I got to do, unfortunately. So hit me. Hit me. Come on. I ain't getting nothing. I ain't getting nothing. Come on, guys. Come on. Hit me. <laughs> I, thank you. I was waiting for someone to actually type that. <laughs> oh, God. We're actually getting hit now. Finnegan's Garage. I like Finnegan. Uh, I like his show. It's a little bit of... It feels almost like it's starting to turn into, hey... Look at how much money I have or how much money I'm blowing on these projects. But uh, he's a hell of a fabricator and a bunch of stuff like that. Uh, any thoughts on a Cadillac 500? i got to run through these now. I'm not going to make my time mark. Uh, Cadillac 500, great low RPM engine. Don't overstress it, but pretty cool engine for what it is. Yeah, trying to squeeze 600 horsepower out of a 440 that would be a pretty stout 440, but it is possible. Uh, but doing 600 horse out of a Stroker 440, you're, it's going to be less work to get that mark. And the engine won't have to work as hard. Uh, uh, dude, Ram 50s, they're not cool. They are freaking awesome. They are amazing. One of the coolest trucks ever. We're going to find an 833 case called Danny Brewer at Brewer's Performance. He might have some extra cases. Uh, that's the best I can come up with that. When am I getting married? Oof, God, you're going to make me throw up. Mopar Joe. Yep, we have talked about just Mopar Joe. He has a great channel. Uh, crazy price of classic cars and pocket money. Not big enough building. Small block Mopar Tunnel Ram Scion TC Gasser. Small block Mopar Tunnel Ram Scion TC Gasser. That is a mouthful. And hey, we got 69 people in here. If you know, you know. <laughs> Dad's doing good. He's just working. Just like I need to be. I have Danny's direct number. Who's Danny? Oh, Danny. Danny Danny Brewer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skyline repeated the comment further down. There was some editing needed. Have an awesome day, Jed. If you ever sniff those shoes. Ever... No, I'm not sniffing those shoes. And yeah, the C10 truck prices, I've been watching those. I got buddies who are into those. Let's see. I have a D50 that was diesel factory. Wow, that's weird. I didn't know they put diesels in those things. That'd be kind of wild. But, uh, all right, guys, I got to hop off here. Uh, I appreciate you. We got 70 people in here right now. Rodney, you just showed up, dude. I need the tracking number for my cam and springs. I don't know where they are. I kind of hope they show up soon. But I did. Hey, Roddy, since you're here, we got the uh, rods in the mail. Uh, before I go, I got things I got to do. <coughs> we got rods. And uh, we got stock rods. But we got aftermarket rods, too. So uh, thank you again, Rodney, for hooking me up, man. Um, but, uh, yeah, I definitely got to hop off here. I'm running out of daylight really freaking fast. But yeah, 70 people in here. I love you guys. I hate to jump off like this freaking rapid, but uh, guys are awesome. I love you as always, and uh, I will see you in the next van video, and maybe we'll do another live soon. I don't know, but uh, <clears throat> you guys have a great day, and I'll catch you later. So as always, bye-bye. And now I got to actually end this thing. It's not like a video where I can just magically end it whenever I want. <laughs>